Hello, Saggy. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. And I want to say to Saggy, um, Sagittarians, you, the Ophioses, and the Leas and the Aries are the ones who help to clear other people's karma, okay? So in a lot of readings, you will come up in the water sign reading, in the hair sign reading, because you help to heal other people, okay? Whatever karmatic situation. Um, and August, there was just so much negative energies that was happening to you, Sagittarius, because you're cleaning other people karma and you're attracting their karma. So you gotta be careful, Sagis, okay? As of the end of November, Sagittarius, Jupiter is coming back in your planetary aspect, in your planetary system. So that it's good to know because love is going to be beautiful. Your luck is going to be coming in. I love you, Sagittarius. I can't tell you how much I love you guys. I share also you're in my birth chart. So that's why I love you guys so much. Now, Sagi, 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 Sagi. Um, let's see what's coming out. Angels of Love, Archangel Shamuel, the Cupid Angels, please show us the love for the Sagittarius. Saji, there is a manifesting video that is out. Go check it out. Uh, the name of this is the uh, Mystical Magical uh, um, Psychic Energies for twin, um, October 31st, so uh, March 2020. Let's see what's coming out in love for Sagittarians. Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Okay, Saji, so I see a lot of communication is going on. People are communicating. A lot of communication, telephone, may, text messages, messaging. I see the Burnett, which is the black and brown hair people, are um, communicating. I'm seeing long distance relationship, whatever is going on there. Long distance relationship is coming up. I'm seeing the mature men that is coming up. Death. So, ladies and gentlemen, the mature men, you Sagittarians men, are here. I am seeing that some of you could have divorced uh, a, a younger person. Um, I am seeing the people between uh, 18 and 45 is coming up. Okay, some of you could have connected with someone abroad, overseas, or from you. The wallflowers are here. I am seeing that you men think that your wife or so is wallflowers. So you are having an affair with a younger person, you Sagittarian. Um, I'm seeing that uh, some of you divorce um, a younger woman and now you're realizing that she was the love of your life. I am seeing that you um, mature women are having a young a relationship with a younger person. This younger person is coming up. Is that the right thing to do? We're going to be looking at that. Soulmates are coming up. Some of you are going to be meeting your soulmates. Okay. Soulmates are coming up. So I'm seeing that this month, some of you could be connecting with your soulmate or some of you are working on a soulmate energy vibration, okay? Um, you mature men, um, um, you could be um, mature men, mature Caucasian men. Um, you could have been married to a, a chocolate brown a woman and you're realizing that it's the love of your life. It is a soulmate relationship. I see a lot of communication. You mature women are having a lot of communication. Some of you are having an affair with a younger man. Uh, younger than 25. Huh? Huh? Okay. Tiger chair. Play on. <laughs> okay, my darling tiger chairs. Okay, so I'm seeing some 
tiger you're coming out you're playing with this younger guy this younger guy is overseas so let's see what is happening okay so for communication what is here for the sagittarians in communication what is here for the sagittarians in communications saturn and venus Einstein, Saturn and Venus, Einstein in love. And this is so right because we have the queen, the ice queen is here. So some of you are not feeling love. You're just ice cold when it comes to love in this, in this month. So a lot of you are feeling ice cold when it comes to love in this month, dear Sagis. Whatever is happening. Communication. I'm seeing Uranus and Venus on an anchoric height where you are constantly communicating with someone because without this person, you don't know who you are and you're not feeling yourself. So it's constantly you need to know where this person is and what is happening. Uh, that's kind of sad, okay? um brown hair black hair women i'm seeing you having um saturnus in mars oh my god their sun in the love so it's as if you don't know what is it what is it that you want what is transpiring in love saturnus in mars is like a shake up relationship and it is their sun you're trying to find out where you are in a love relationship so that is going on for you, um, black hair, brown hair women. But a stride, uh, there is just so much. Some of you are dealing with people uh, who are living in another city or overseas or in another place. Wow, it's a lot that is going on because it's as if your soulmate is living in another city or another place mature man sun and mars is in reverse mature men new beginning some of you mature men men 45 years and older i think you want to return to your ex-wife this is coming up so you mature men i think you want to return to your ex-wife i'm thinking that you want a new beginning with this person if it's not your ex-wife it's someone you have been with before in this lifetime and you want to return but you're not seeing that new start another reverse energy jupiter in venus for you young men under the ages of 25 you're in love with an older woman okay so people 25 years and older you young men 25 years and older you're in love with a younger woman tiger <laughs> okay then we have the wallflowers mars we have Mars um, in um, Mars and the moon where uh, crowd fought, okay, where you, you're not sure what is going on. You know, love is not there, nothing. You're not really sure uh, if you want to have a relationship, what, what is going on. You're just out of it totally. And that's the energy of the wallflower, where you're just out of it totally. You're not feeling it. You don't even know who you are anymore. Now, true love, true gem comes in, and some of you are drifting, especially you men 45 years and older, want a new start, but you're sort of a drifting because you're wondering if it's going to happen. So you're, you're a drifter right now because some of you are drifting. You don't know. You want something to happen, but you're not working towards it. You're not telling the person that you care about them. So you're kind of drifting around, okay? So it's like you really want to go back with the ex, but you're not telling the ex that you want to return to them. It's sort of that, you know, you're there in a relationship, but you're not there in a relationship, okay? Okay. So you're kind of drifting around you mature men, okay? And you young men um, under the age of 25, you are definitely, some of you are in love with your professor. Some of you are in um, in love with the professor and you are in love with a, a real mature woman. Now, there are people who are playing significant role because I'm seeing you mature men wants to definitely go back to a brown hair black hair girl 
woman because that is you find them to be the true gem that is that is the person you 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 know within your heart and i think that what has transpired between you and this person is that there was intervention negative forces had ended your relationship and you really love this person it is no question this new gem is that you really really love this person so whatever that is happening and transpiring you love this person and whatever that is transpiring is that you want to return to this person but you're not sure so you experience mature man um you want to return to someone who makes your heart flutter you know that this person is magical some unexpected surprises are going to be coming out for you brown hair ladies in love and the people who have been cold i'm seeing the universe is going to surprise you with a new love some of you you know this 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 true gem especially you wallflowers you're really a true gem get up there be yourself um an and, and, and engagement could be coming in someone could be asking your hands in marriage for some of you okay uh -huh. someone could be asked the ends of marriage okay you mature women so what is really happening is that for the mature women i'm seeing neptune so the unseen is going to be creating unexpected um uh, um neptune the moon and mercury neptune the moon and mercury so what that is saying for you mature women is that unexpectedly someone is going to appear in your life this person um is going to end up marrying you or engaged to you but it's going to be a long-lasting relationship it is a soulmate so some of you who are looking for relationship might just turn up on your soulmate okay so let's see communication for the sagittarius what is happening in the month of november in love Please remember, if you want a personalized reading, use the link below. And it's just a lot that is going on in love this uh, last month. Ooh, la la, ladies. Mature ladies, something came out. Deceptiveness in your relationship. Mature ladies, there are some deceptiveness in your relationship. All right, communication, what's happening? I'm seeing an offer ooh, of love is coming in. Yes, yes, yes. I'm seeing um, in communication, I'm seeing there's a lot of uh, telephone, text message and that certain um, and an offer. Someone is offering you love and marriage. Somebody wants a new start with some of you out there um there's a lot of communication between you and this person it could be an ex or it could be um the ex one to return i'm seeing if you give this person a chance whoever is offering someone is going to be offering to marriage they want a new start with you they want a relationship with you they are going to be offering you love and a new start take it take it take it i'm seeing this communication that is coming up okay take it so for the dark hair brown hair ladies what is happening in love i'm seeing news that is coming in and this news is coming in from a gemini news is coming in and this news is coming from a gemini i'm seeing some of you a gemini is offering you a new start this is definitely a gemini is offering you a new start so some of you dark ear latest, I'm seeing a Gemini offering you a new start, but I also seen communication that is coming up. Some of you could be finding out that whoever you're in a relationship in is in uh, is seeing an Aries person. So whoever you're in a relationship with is seeing an Aries person. Some of you could be finding out that um, an offer if you um, were looking for love that um, an uh, Aries is going to be offering you love and a Gemini okay an Aries and a Gemini could be coming in offering you love 
um there is a message uh, they want a new start with you or they want to to get in a relationship with you okay so we're seeing some of you who have met uh, someone on a work experience overseas i see you make a decision um this person is um a quite rich person okay and um this could be a taurus virgo or a capricorn this person is coming up as a virgo they care about you they want to be with you and i think they're going to let you know whoever this person is this is someone who is really um um really 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 um financial stability some of you could be traveling overseas and meeting someone and a relationship is going to start but it's someone in business is not one of the real positive time and energy i am seeing some of you mature men are having other offers but i'm seeing heartbreak um i'm seeing um you're getting over heartbreak with someone so you mature men are getting over heartbreaks with someone this person could be a pisces or a scorpion so you mature men are getting over heartbreak some of you were dealing with a scorpion or a pisces and you're getting over heartbreaks because the sun and the moon is so some of you mature men 45 years and older are getting over heartbreaks in this month it has to do with a pisces and a um scorpion some of you could be connecting with a pisces and a scorpion where um they are going to be showing you true love okay so you high school ladies are you know deciding to get out of this coldness so the ice cold ladies you guys were you know kind of taking life easy and uh, now you're deciding you know <sighs> i'm gonna get out there and meet someone and as you decide that I'm seeing someone coming up for you. You you're thinking I'm going to get out there and see and it's the right decision. You have been cold because of hurts and pain and now you're thinking, you know something, I got to let it go. I got to let it go. I, I had to deal with it. I got to let it go. And you're making the right decision because as you decide to move forward in your relationship, you are going to be realizing that everything is going to be falling in place. Yes, it's the right thing to do. Go for it. So you ladies that was, you know, just don't want to deal with anyone. Um, you are coming out, you're thinking it's Christmas, you know, and I have been hurt and in this place for quite some time. I am going to let go myself of this coldness and go back and learn to love. Okay. And that is going to be God. The young men, um, under the age of 25, I see that you're in love with a cougar. And this is an Aquarian. Some of you are in love with a cougar and it is an Aquarian. Now this person, whoever this person is, is an older person than you are. See the energy of this is oldness. Okay. So some of you men 45 years and older are very, um, you know, um, having a relationship with an Aquarian. But I think you're realizing that... Uh, you're trying to figure out this person and trying to figure out whether or not you should continue the relationship or end it. Um, I think that some of you are thinking about the age that this person is older in age. So that's one of the reason why you're, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay. This person could be a lawyer. So this person could be a lawyer also, but I'm seeing you're kind of figuring out is this the route to go this person is a little bit older is there love and that sort of a thing or is it that you're just enjoying the sex for the moment where is it gonna go is there a relationship that sort of a thing as we look at the wallflower these are the people who you know don't live anymore I'm seeing you are going to get out of this because it's as if you were married you're divorced now 
and um, you know your ex is communicating with you but it's as if hey I don't I, I don't want to do this you know it's you need to get out of the stink okay your marriage didn't work it's, it's okay all right so get out of it I'm seeing some of you who are married um, you, you need to communicate with your partner okay cuz you sit at home not doing anything not being you not to, you know keeping yourself up and that sort of a thing and I think that that is what you need to get out of the stink you're sitting in a stunk you need to get out of the stunk okay because you're you're dealing you're, you're behaving like a wall for you need to get the life back in your relationship and in your marriage this is why people cheat because at home it's not there so they go outside somewhere else so wallpaper get up and uh, get the 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 funniness back in your life and it's going to be good i'm seeing some of you have met someone is a true love i'm seeing this person could be uh um a pisces but they're ending the relationship some of you thought that this was the love of your life but they're ending the relationship okay so some of you are dealing with the pisces and you thought that it was the love of your life but they're ending the relationship um, they could be ending the relationship and going for a Virgo instead okay so whatever is transpiring if you're dealing with a Pisces I'm seeing this coming to an end and you they might be going for the Virgo um, which could be happening or you know it could be a Virgo ending the relationship and going for a Pisces okay so a relationship some of you thought that this was the love of your life this was someone who was going to do it for you but I'm seeing a transition debt to a relationship tears so I'm seeing um, that this person this Pisces is going to end the relationship and uh, it's sudden, but um, the Pisces is going to end the relationship. Now, the mature women or who are dealing with... Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So it's a good thing I'm not dealing with the Pisces <laughs> with a Scorpio. All right. So um, mature women that is dealing with a younger person. You could be dealing with a young Libran. I am saying that some of you are dealing with a young Libran. This Libran is deceptive. This Libran could be seen an Aquarian. There could be some conflict. There is some, you got to be careful. If you are a cougar out there dealing with a younger man, which is a Libran or an Aquarian, you got to be careful because some deceptiveness is there. Okay. So again, ladies 45 years and older. If you're dealing with a younger man, 25 years and younger, um, there is some deceptiveness that is going on. It could be a Libran. But there is some deceptiveness that is going on. Okay, bam, 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 four of pentacles. So that means um, you mature women, a Capricorn is going to be offering you love. And uh, a Capricorn is going to offer you love, but there are some secret it could be a psychic person also so you gotta be careful all right so you ladies 45 years and older I'm seeing if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn there is some secret and they're having a new love some of you could be meeting a Capricorn but if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn there are some secrets um, this person could be psychic and they want you they're in love with you they're gonna be offering you love so latest 45 years and older but whatever the reason they're in, they're in the reverse is as if they don't know if you're going to accept the offer they're very psychic and they're very much in love with you 
but it's as if they don't know if you want their love. It's as if they think that you are in a better position. They don't know if you want this love, but they're in love with you. They are in love with you. This is, but they're unsure, unsure. Some of you, uh, uh, you know, so if you know a, a, a Capricorn person, they're in love with you, but they're unsure how you feel about them. Okay. Wow. And they're coming in with love to you. So this is going to be good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for being here. Amazing, amazing love reading. Please like, share these videos. So, um, go check out the monthly reading and download your on demand because there's always love in it. The pants. So, um, so I want to say thank you so much. Open up yourself to the energies of love and I will speak to you guys next time.